Penny, hello, welcome. Today is Mocktail Madness. Now we're doing this particular mocktail in celebration of our FASD Awareness Week. FASD, Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. Now you may have heard me refer to it Fetal Alcohol Syndrome Disorder or Fetal Alcohol Disability Disorder. There's lots of different ways to say it, but here in Ontario we say Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. It's a diagnostic term and it is talking about the impacts of alcohol on the brain and body in utero. It's really important for us to take the time to understand and get to know this disability as it impacts lots of Canadians every day. But today is about fun and celebration. So what we are going to do is make this awesome mocktail. Now this one is kind of exciting. It's not the one you're going to have every single day. This is a great mocktail for when you're on, you know, month seven, month eight, looking at month nine, and you're getting together with all your friends and they're enjoying their pink Whitney's and their Bombay's and, and their sweet um, alcoholic beverages and you're enjoying your mocktails, but you want something extra special. So this one is fun. This one's called the Disappearing Mocktail. Woo! So that's what it looks like. It's a sweet treat. And if you want to try it, all you need to do is register here while supplies last. If you register for our FASD Awareness Week, I'll send you a little package that will include um, everything you need to make this recipe. So I hope you register and um, we'll have it out to you. So what I want to show you is how to make this drink. So first we're going to ha have a glass. Use something fancy. This isn't one, like I said before, that you're going to have every day. So really, you know, let's say you're having um, a friend of yours over and you know she's expecting, or maybe even that she's trying. Um, so you want to make sure you get together and get these items first. It's not something you'll find all the time, so you want to kind of plan ahead. So you're going to take your glass, and what you want to do is rim it with some colored sugar. So I've added a few different colors of colored sugar that I just bought. Mix it together. And then you're going to want to use something um, a little sticky. So I've used maple syrup, you can use honey. In some of my other recipes, I use water. But this one, you really need that stickiness. So this is some maple syrup locally. We can also use local honey. And then we're just going to stick it and just get it in there. Now, if you don't like the kind of color, you know, see how it's kind of gone brown? You can use like a, the clear corn syrup, but I just think that this is just fine and dandy. So then you've gotten it sticky. See how it's a nice sticky rim? And you want to make sure that it's all the way around the rim. And then we're going to go ahead and put it in the crystals. Go like this. And then you can go around the side too, like this. Mm -hmm. And it really just adds that extra pizzazz to it, right? The extra whoa, 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 whoa. And that's fun, you know? I think a lot of us enjoying something has to do with our eyes. You know, if we see it, it looks exciting and looks fun, then we're more likely to try it. Look at that, look at that. Can you see that? Wow, good rim on there. Okay, so after that, what you're gonna do is add some cotton candy. Now, sometimes the dollar stores have this, sometimes you gotta order it in, sometimes even our little variety store, um, sometimes the trading post uh, down the road, it even has it. Um, so, so you wanna play it ahead though. It's definitely not, a, oh, I think I'll make this tonight. Um, so you're gonna add some cotton candy. There's no exact measurement. You just wanna make it full and fluffy. Now, remember what this is called? The disappearing mocktail. And you'll find out pretty soon why. Because it's just so yummy. Okay, so next what you're going to do is you're going to add um, some kind of clear pop. So you can use a ginger ale, you can use a 7-Up, you can use a Sprite. I'm using a can of Spitz Up because um, it was in the fridge and uh, instead of opening a whole bottle of ginger ale, I thought I'd just use this can. And it is diet, so it'd be a little less um, sugar. But if you're drinking this at this point, it's not something that you're really thinking about is maybe your sugar content. Um, so look at this, see what happens? Can you see that? Where did my cotton candy go? It just disappeared. And you know what, this is a really cute idea if you're doing even like a gender reveal or something. You can get a blue cotton candy and then like a pink cotton candy. Um, 
it might be kind of a fun, even a fun signature drink um, at your wedding. Why do we always have to have alcohol? It can be a fun signature drink. And look at that. And then what I like to do, um, what the recipe actually calls for, is use a licorice straw, just in case we don't have enough sugar in this. And there. Voila, the disappearing mocktail. Try it out at your next baby shower. So if you'd like the ingredients sent to you in a care package, please register. Register for our FASD Awareness Week. We have lots of different workshops and events. Tune in, check it out, and get learning.